Hi guys, welcome back to my chat. No, oh crap. This is how my phone breaks. Today I woke up and I was like, you know, I'm feeling so original. Wouldn't it be crazy if a study tube channel made a video about studying? So it is back to school season and many people are being negative. Many people don't enjoy this season. But for me, this is like Christmas time. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions about school and I am gladly going to answer them. So before I get into the actual questions, actually, no, nah, this was already a question. But somebody asked me how the hell does the IR school system work? So if you live in Ireland and you know this inside out, then skip to this timestamp right there. So basically we have primary school and we have secondary school. So in primary school, we have eight classes. Why am I going into primary school? Okay, we have secondary school. So we have six years of secondary school. The first three years are called the junior cycle. After third year, we have a year which is called transition year, which is the fourth year. Transition year is basically a year where you do no studying basically at all. And yeah, you are allowed to skip that year. And then fifth and sixth class is what is called the leaving cycle, which is what I'm currently doing right now. And at the end of the last year we have an exam called the leaving cert in which you get tested on all the knowledge that you've learned from the past two years so it is quite a stressful exam but you know so excited at the end of all your exams even if you do nine subjects only six of your best subjects count the first question is what are some of your time management tips I have been taking a lot of time management and productivity classes on this website called Skillshare Skillshare is basically a website that has thousands of classes on entrepreneurial and creative skills and they have a lot of different courses ranging from like productivity and time management, illustration, digital design, film production, literally any kind of skill you want to work on, it's probably on Skillshare. Skillshare is also super affordable. It's under $10 a month because Skillshare is sponsoring this video. You can sign up with my link down below and get two months for free to learn about any type of skill you want. And if you want more in-depth answer on some like time management tips or whatever, I really recommend to go on there and check them out. But to answer your question, the thing that I need the most is my bullet journal. I am gonna make a video on this soon. I don't know when. I don't know. I'm organizing my time really well with it right now. I don't see myself stopping when I start school. I feel like I'm only gonna start using it more. I would recommend to look into some bullet journals. Another thing that I picked up from Skillshare is one of the teachers was talking about something called time theming. Basically for each day you would assign like one or two subjects depending on how much subjects you have and then every single week you know that that day is supposed to be for that subject but what I would do and what one of the teachers also recommended is that you keep Sunday free. I mean, if you're a very, very busy person and you have like honestly no time, then I guess you don't have to keep Sunday free. But I feel like everyone should try their best to have at least one day or at least half of a day where you just completely like disconnect. You don't think about school. You don't think about anything. You just focus on yourself, self-care, watch a movie. I don't know. So the way I explained it didn't really make sense. But what I was trying to say is it's better to start studying early but have like one day off a week rather than start studying like a week before but be cramming for like seven days in a row so so the next question is how to find motivation that will keep you going i find motivation in the weirdest things like i don't need a lot to get me motivated honestly i will go on pinterest or on youtube and i can literally look at a picture of someone studying like like something literally like these pictures here and honestly watching videos a lot motivates me like productive day videos are like my favorite thing ever how many points are you aiming to get for your leaving cert i don't have a specific amount of points that i'm like aiming to get but there is specific grades that i want basically after i finish school i want to do a gap year and then i want to do university in london i need to get four h1s and i think one like h3 but honestly i'm terrified so i want to get five h1s and maybe like a h2 or a h3 i don't know if, how realistic it is but it's my goal so so if you add that up around like 602 or 613 points which is a lot oh and before anyone asks the college i want to go to is ucl or imperial i'm not 100 percent sure and the course i'm going to do is either mathematics or computer science also not 100 percent sure but i'm working on figuring that out how do you stay organized during the school year this is kind of similar to the time management question in a way my answer again is with the bullet journal there's not many things that i have to do to get organized 
organized. I get homework every day. I make sure to complete the homework the day it was given to me. If I'm not able, then I'll try to do it the next day, but I'll try to get it done as soon as possible. For tests, honestly, it's better to start studying as soon as you know you have the test. It depends on the test, but usually I won't start studying until like three, four days before, which I would not recommend. I would honestly recommend to study as soon as you know you have that test. It will make your life a hundred times easier. And then what else would you have to stay organized with? I don't really get any projects, so I don't really have to stay organized with that. Do you study with music? It really depends on what subject I'm doing. If I'm doing English or Spanish or Irish, I cannot listen to any music at all. Like it needs to be dead silent. If I'm studying maths or applied maths or accounting, I can listen to like full music with like lyrics and like songs I know. But if it's any other subject in between, then I listen to like lo-fi music that doesn't have lyrics. I have a playlist on my Spotify if you guys want to listen to it. It's called Be Productive and it's just like music that motivates me to work and like study. What classes are you taking? In school, I do Irish, English, Spanish, maths, accounting, physics, biology, and applied maths. So I do eight subjects in school. Applied maths is optional, but I really like it. Also, I am like very unsure if I want to do Russian or not. I like, I'm not sure. I don't know. I fluently speak Russian, but I, I don't know if I'm bothered to like pay and like travel to go to teachers and like learn more about grammar. But honestly, it would benefit me a lot. So I don't know yet. And yeah, all of them are higher level except for Irish because Irish is just not my strong point at all. I just don't want to waste my time studying so much for a higher level when Irish is not going to be in my top six anyway. Do you plan on going to the gym in sixth year? I am not going to do that. I do not have a gym near me. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have a gym literally like five minutes away from me, but everybody from my school goes to that gym and I am not about that life like i'm okay knowing a couple of people when i go to the gym but i don't want to know every single person there the nearest gym to me that's not the one here is like 20 minutes away on a bus and i did do that last year i did i traveled about 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back but this year like i just don't have the time and i don't think i'm bothered um i think it is super important to have some like physical activity that you're doing that I am still doing a lot. Well, okay, not a lot, but I'm like doing something, but I will not be going to the gym because I ain't got the time. What exam are you the most worried for and what is the hardest subject? For me personally, it has always been English. I am so unbelievably bad at English. You can study a lot for English, but I feel like you still need to have some like good writing abilities or like talent or something and i feel like no matter how much i study i just don't have that ability to write well comment down below what subjects you're worried for and why do you have any advice for people starting fifth year honestly the advice i have for fifth year i think could be applied to any year when you start fifth year some people like start the year with a mindset that like i have time i have two years like fifth year i'll kind of chill and then sixth year i will really start studying first of all most of the time when people say that it doesn't happen our mind automatically tries to procrastinate and it doesn't want to think about the stress so in your brain you might be like oh you know fifth year i'll take it easy i studied a lot during fifth year and i still feel a little bit stressed now some people only start studying a couple of months before and they do fine but if you're aiming for like a extremely high grades then I would recommend to start in fifth year in the beginning like the earlier you start the less you're gonna be stressed because you're gonna be doing the same amount of work whatever method you use when you come home like make flashcards make your notes like make sure you have your stuff ready and up to date and don't leave it until later I only use digital flashcards to study like literally like that's all I use and I am up to date with it all the time I may be like a chapter behind sometimes when like things are like too hectic everything I've done on fifth year is on my Quizlet by the way if anybody wants to get any like free Quizlet cards I will link my Quizlet in the link below my flashcards are not perfect but they are literally what's getting me through the year what are some things that you didn't do last year that you want to do this year to improve your productivity 
during the year I have like a really bad problem that when I do homework I really don't pay attention to it and when I do homework I usually watch like Vampire Diaries or Gossip Girl or Suits and that is such a waste of time I'm not truly relaxing I'm not focusing on the show but I'm not focusing on my work either so I think that is a very big waste of time I'm gonna stop doing that and also I'm gonna stop cramming for tests I don't really do that that often but I think I've done it like once or twice and this year I don't want to do it once like I just want to be prepared all the time but yeah, I hope this video helped you guys at all in any way. If you have any additional questions, you can comment them down below and I'll answer in the comments. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. My battery's gonna die. Have a great start to your school. And yeah, peace out, Girl Scouts.